Welcome to Solid Camp Professor. I'm Sydney, your Solid Camp Professor, and in this session we'll be talking about Solid Camp 2009 with our new options in our tool data area. If we go into our operation and we go into our tool area, we have the data button. In this area, we've made a couple of changes. Our first change that we've made is that you'll note that we've added a new field for feed lead in and feed lead out. We now have complete control of our feeds as we use our lead in. We can up the percentage or lower the percentage to have a faster or a slower feed in. And the same thing with our lead out. We can do the exact same thing, make it either slower or faster as we approach or leave our uh, part itself. Another thing we've done here is that we've actually disabled our feed finish and our spin finish. What happens now is as follows. If this checkbox is not marked, then the feed finish will automatically be whatever my feed x, y is. In other words, if I was to make this to 1000, you'll note that my feed finish automatically changes to 1000 as well. If I want to have separate control of my feed X, Y, and my feed finish, all I have to do is simply click on the checkbox, and now this is completely separate from my feed X, Y. And I can make this say 1500. And now we have a separate feed for our X, Y, and a separate feed for our finish. If I were to remove this now, it'll go back to my feed XY. The same thing is true with my spin rate. If my spin rate is not checked off, then whatever my spin rate over here will be, say 4,500, then my spin finish will be the exact same thing. If I open the checkbox, now I have complete control of having this as a separate value for my spin finish. Thank you for joining us on Solid Camp Professor. Take care and have a nice day.